Namaste yogis and welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt and today we're just going to do a super relaxing yin yoga class to suit the nervous system and make you feel much more relaxed. The goal of today is simply to enjoy the practice and dissipate tension and stresses throughout your body and mind. So for today's class, all you're going to need is either a pillow or a, or a um, bolster. And we're going to start without any further ado. Again, just place your hands on your knees, just lengthening the spine, taking some deep breath in and out through the nose. And just setting up the intention to be at peace within your body and mind. Slowly allowing your thoughts to disappear as you bring your focus to your breath. And just keep breathing deeply. So try to see if you can use your breath on the exhale to soften up any area of your body that is tight right now. Might be your upper back, your neck, your low back. Just try to use the breath to release tension in that area. With every exhale, feeling lighter and lighter. So slowly when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And we're going to be going into square pose. So the right ankle will come on top of the left knee. And we're going to align the right knee with the left ankle here. And if you want, you can place the bolster in front of you for support. We're just going to lengthen the spine here. Take one big inhale. And on the exhale, just walk your hands forward. You can place your forearms on the bolster, rolling down the spine. And just enjoy that deep stretch in the right glute. As we do nothing else here today than enjoying 
the peace and calmness that the practice is bringing to our nervous system, allowing us that much needed rest through this busy and hectic life that we are all living. I'm gonna invite you to walk your hands back very slowly. You can uncross your legs for a moment, wiggling them left to right. Taking some deep breath here. And on your own time, you can bring the left ankle on top of the right knee aligning the left knee with the right ankle, squaring off your hips here, placing your hands on the bolster in front of you, big inhale, exhale, walking your fingertips forward, bending at the waist, and just finding your edge here, when you can feel that deep stretch in the left glute. And we can slowly walk our hands backwards, raising our upper body here. And I'm gonna invite you to just open up your legs, 
and a 45 degree angle here bringing the bolster inside your groin area I'm going to be taking one big inhale and on the exhale we're going to walk our fingertips forward bending at the waist placing your forearms if you want on the bolster here stretching our inner groin inside of our legs And we can walk our hands back, just placing the bolster aside for now. We can bring our legs back in. So let's just take a moment here to reset our mind, reset our bodies. Take some deep breath. And from here we can turn onto our knees, going into all four. So we're just gonna do cat and cow here. Big inhale, looking up, curving the spine. Exhale, pushing through your hands and shoulder blades, rounding the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. And so I'm gonna let you do a few more on your own time here. Just do what feels good. There is no set numbers of repetition you need to do. Just keep going until you feel that it's enough. And then when you're ready, you can come back to a neutral spine. I'm going to invite you to use the bolster in front of you or the pillow that you have. I'm just going to bring about the middle of the bolster aligned with our chest here. So we're going to go into melting heart here. So big inhale. 
exhale, we're going to walk our hands forward, keeping our knees in line with our hips and just curving our spine and lying down on the bolster. So you can turn your head to the left or the right and just allow your body to fully relax and rest all its weight on the bolster. Stretching the upper back here, the spine. And we can slowly push ourselves back up here. So we can place the bolster just in front of us. And from all four, we're just gonna raise the left leg back and then swing it forward into dragging pose. You might wanna just place the bolster inside for support, placing your hands on it. Extending the right leg back, curving the spine, looking up. Let's just settle into this and stretch our hip flexors, really being a lot of tension in that area. You might want to go down on your forearms on the bolster if you are flexible. If not, you can stay up. Whatever feels best for you today, you can play with both.
So from here we can push our hips back, just stretching the left leg a little bit. You can use the bolster here for support as we move our hips back and just navigate that long stretch behind the left leg. So from here, we can go back onto all fours. Big inhale, raising the right leg back and up. Exhale, we're gonna swing it forward, extending the left leg back. And then again, we can use the bolster here for support. Just helping us to find a nice and comfortable platform to support ourselves on. And then we're moving our hips forward and down. And we can slowly push our hips back as we navigate the counter stretch here for the right hamstring. So just kind of placing your hands on the floor, moving your hips back, finding your edge, and then enjoying this. And when you're ready, you can release and I'm gonna invite you to just bring your knees to the edges of your yoga mat, placing your glutes on top of your heels here. We're just gonna go into child pose, so one big inhale here. And on the exhale, I'm gonna invite you to use the bolster just to hug it as we fold at the waist and come all the way down. This is a very relaxing position for the nervous system.
And we can push ourselves back up here very gently and then closing off our knees. And we're just gonna go on our left hip here and place the bolster aside if you wish and extend our legs to the side. And we're just gonna place our forearms on the bolster. Just going into a gentle stretch here on the left side of our bodies. So you can place your hands on the floor and then just close your eyes and enjoy that stretch. If you want to deepen this stretch on the left side of your body, you can just push yourself up here on the bolster a little bit. can lower ourselves down. I'm just gonna slowly switch sides here just to keep facing you guys. So let's settle ourselves on the other side for a nice stretch on the right side of the body here. And we're gonna lower ourselves down. And I'm gonna invite you to take some space on your yoga mat. We're gonna be going into Savasana, our final pose for today. You can bring the bolster underneath your knees, extending your legs in front of you. And let's just close our eyes and focus on our breath.
So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's yin yoga class. Please subscribe to my channel and share the classes with friends and family members. And I'll see you guys on the next class. Namaste.